What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're talking all about how to control the squash vine borer and the squash bugs using organic practices. Let's jump into it. All right, it's summertime, it's hot out, and what comes along with that is a lot of pest pressure, a lot of bugs in the garden. And, uh, you know, when you're running a biologically, organically based uh, small scale farm or garden, you're not wanting just to completely eradicate uh, pest pressure. It just exists, it's part of the ecosystem. So the goal really is control. We want to keep it manageable. And so here we've got um, squash and zucchini planted and the squash bugs have not quite found these yet. However, we've got some more squash that we planted earlier in the greenhouse and the squash bugs have definitely gotten a hold of those plants. To answer the question though, what's the best way to control them? So you can use Azagard and Pyganic. These are two organic pesticides, they are expensive, but they can help you keep them manageable and under control. However, the things that we're doing is our squash plants, like our zucchini, our zephyr squash, our patty pan, and we're doing succession plantings every 30 days. We're restarting new seeds in the greenhouse, and then we're pulling up those old plants and they're replanting. And that's pretty much, in my opinion, one of the only ways you're really gonna control them uh, using organic practices. I mean, you can get seven dust and all that kind of stuff. I'm not wanting to, yeah, we don't, we don't do that on our farm. I'm not, I'm not spraying poison. Now, the other way, in my opinion, that can really, really help you is to plant your squash plants all in different areas on your farm. For example, we've got squash plants down at the end of the tunnel. And then as I showed you in the beginning in the video, we've got squash plants um, over here. And that really helps you if you get a lot of pest pressure on a certain set of plants in one area of your farm or your garden, but then you have another planting elsewhere, those bugs may not find it or it may, or it may at least delay them finding it for a while. So I found that really helpful as well, um, planting different blocks of different plants in different areas. And this can kind of help confuse the, uh, the pests a little bit, so to speak, but also it kind of allows you to sacrifice a few squash plants here so that the squash plants over there survive and aren't attacked by the bugs. 